Hi, my blood brothers and sisters. Today, I just wanted to share about communion, taking communion, the, the bread and the wine, uh, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and just what it means to me. Because it's a symbolic thing, and it's so special, and it's a sacred moment that uh, we get to share uh, with the Lord. Uh, and uh, the disciples shared it at the table, the twelve, and we get to share it today in our hearts uh, and in the spirit. So, uh, today, so before we do, let's just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, uh, we just thank you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, coming and shedding his blood uh, and breaking his body for us and uh, on the cross uh, and uh, healing all of our wounds and uh, reconciling us to you uh, through his uh, wounds and through his broken body, God. Uh, uh, bringing us into a, a new relationship with the Father, uh, a relationship that says we are um, holy in your sight because not of what we did, but because of what he did. So we praise you for your sacrifice, uh, Jesus, and help us to take communion the right way. So... You know, uh, Jesus Christ died for our sins, as we just prayed, and he and you know his sacrifice uh, for our sins means a lot, probably a lot more than we could ever put into words, really. But we do put them into words that he atoned us to the Father. Uh, he brought he atoned for our sins and, and reconciled us to the Father, and uh, he pretty much broke everything that was hindering us from being with God, uh, which was our sin uh, on that cross uh, by wiping our slate clean. Uh, but Jesus Christ had a celebration of communion, and to me, because I've been taking communion since I got on the road, uh, I try to wake up before I do anything else and have communion uh, and, and, and and spend a little time in the presence of God before I start my day. Just It's just a good way for me. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I've really been starting to put that into practice daily since I got out here. And there's some lyrics to a song by John Mark McMillan called Skeleton Bones, and uh uh, the lyrics are like this, and this is the best example that I could say uh, for communion to me, what it represents. And it's when he sang, he said, he said, I want your blood to flow inside of my body, and I want your wind inside of my lungs. Because I just want to love you. I just want to love you. Yeah. It's like, it goes like this. He says like this. We want your blood to flow inside our body and we want your wind inside our lungs. Yeah. We just want to love you. We just want to love you. Yeah. It's like that. And see, when I take communion, uh, I see that as a celebration and a uh, just a daily uh, celebration of that union of Jesus Christ being in me and me being in him and we are one his blood has become my blood his body has become my body uh, he lives in me I'm his temple and he is mine he is my Lord he's my Savior he's my lover he's my friend he's my brother and we have become one you know when a husband and a wife get married they become one one flesh, one life, they live together. When we take communion, this is a celebration of that oneness that we have with Christ. We partake of his body. It has be become one body with us. When we drink of his blood, his blood is one blood with us. And sometimes I like to anoint my head with oil. And I will maybe take a deep breath and celebrate the fact that his spirit uh, is become one breath with my own breath so that we're totally one in union and in harmony uh, and then in that I love him and he loves me so we're tied together in one in love and in the spirit and in communion and that celebration of union with God it's, it's oneness with God and it's a celebration of that that's what taking communion is to me is a celebration of union with God that his body is mine and I am his and uh, it's what's why it's important to take communion in a worthy manner because you are celebrating the fact that your body has become the temple of Christ. Your body has become a vessel to contain Christ in it. Christ lives in you, and your body is a vessel to carry him in the earth. That's why we can heal the sick and cast out devils in Jesus' name because we carry Jesus Christ in us. 
uh, and he walks in us and he walks through us and uh, he shines his light out of us through the Holy Spirit into the earth, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils, raise the dead, minister the gospel of the kingdom and bring souls to Christ or to, to the Father, uh, reconcile souls to the Father in relationship. This is what we do and Christ does this in us. And communion is a celebration of the work of Christ inside of our bodies and our temples and our vessels. So, and, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's what communion means to me. And I just want to do this as a short message, a celebration of communion. I encourage you to celebrate communion every day. It's a good way to start the day. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, start your day with some communion. Uh, take a little communion, a little bread, a little, little grape juice, a little wine. I mean, you can take, you can drink normal wine too. It's, it's just fine. That's what Jesus drank. As long as you just take a swig of it, not like suck down the bottle and just celebrate the blood of Christ, you know, um, as just a remembrance of, of what he did for you on the cross, the blood he spilled for you on the cross, they're telling to the Father, and also a celebration of the fact that his blood is now in your body, uh, in this divine union, that we are the temples of Jesus Christ, we are the temples of God, we are the temples of the Father, the temple of the Holy Spirit, and uh, take communion in the morning, celebrate that, it's a good way to focus your mind too, and center your mind on the things of God, put some music on spell time in the presence get going get you going take communion before you have breakfast it'll be the first thing you eat in a day all right so that's my message uh jesus christ loves you uh he is one with us each of us individually enjoy this relationship spend more time with him get to know him more i'm going to be in la this uh uh weekend with dustin i'm helping him do some outreach there uh we have some exciting plans in september uh if if everything comes together um we believe, we're believing God for it, but me and Dustin and Amanda and whoever else the Lord will bring are going to go to Phoenix and uh, Sedona and Las Vegas. And then uh, it seems to be that we're going we're gonna to run back around uh, down to San Diego and spend a little time with Art uh, and uh, hopefully pour into this community here. Uh, so that's exciting because I love Dustin and Amanda. It's so great. We had a great time in New Mexico, and it's just going to be on fire um, we need to get as much of this on video as possible um, because bringing, bringing guys like Dustin uh, to a place like Sedona and uh, stuff like that with, where it's a heavy witchcraft, it's going to be uh, pretty pretty remarkable with the things the Lord does. So um, we really want to celebrate uh, the power of God and what he's able to do and, the, and, and show that off, show God's glory off. And what better place to show God's glory off than places that are like super highly into the occult, like witchcraft, you know? So guys like guys like Dustin and, and me and Amanda going down there, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be off the hook. So this is something that we're planning on, we're praying into for September, uh, the month of September, it looks like. Um, so uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that, but that's going to be just wild. So um, he's going to run a van and come back up, come out here me out a little bit and we're just gonna have a good time just have a great time really it's gonna be a blast so it's also about having fun too that's one thing about serving the lord you have to understand is that it's not all works you have to understand that god wants you to enjoy your life too so if we do something like this it might be balls to the walls excitement and fun and and, and and powerful but there's nothing wrong with enjoying yourself too fellowship going around checking out the mountains and these things uh, god created these things for us to enjoy and uh life should be enjoyed not just all labors uh, God gave us uh, God gave us uh, one life to live with him and uh, enjoy it with him you know with our father so we should enjoy every moment with our father and that's why celebrating communion is so important because we live this one life with Christ in our bodies uh, one temple Christ so it's powerful so uh, just enjoy communion take it in the morning I love you all and I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray job good day